Alright. Hey, what's up my quesadillas? And get your kiss on. We moved to this beautiful station called Maburi Kaigan. A couple stations below Yokosuka. Sucks because it's even more far away from Tokyo. Because it's south, you know, Tokyo's up. So that kind of sucks, but we're right next to the beach. Hey, it's probably a good thing that I don't go to Tokyo as much. I was partying way too much. Me and my mom are just going to the konbini, getting some food. Holy shoot, that's Rokuju Yen. Yeah, Rokuju Yen Biki. Oh, of course. I feel one of the real spicy quesadillas. An old time quesadilla here when I first came to Japan. You already know. The milk teas are where it's at. This is the good stuff right here. I love the milkies, you know what I'm saying? All right, I just got some rice balls. You know me, I'm a booty man. Rice balls deep in your flaps, bitch. There's all sorts of different milk teas. No one asked, but I'm gonna give you my milk tea tier list. All right, so this is the classic. This is what I usually go with. It's not my favorite though. I'll tell you what's my favorite in a sec. But this is like the classic is what I usually go with. The Meister's milk tea. This is the shittiest one. Don't get this. This, I've never tried that out, but it says it's the milk tea. So I don't know, it might be pretty good. We'll tie this with this. This crap. Boss milk tea. I mean, I guess I shouldn't do this tier list if I haven't tried them all yet But I'm getting some Meister's vibes with this one. So it goes two three four Five, but what's my favorite one you ask the best one the best milk tea my favorite milk tea is the cheapest one right here Baby, they usually have like big cartons of this that are pretty much the same price as those mini bottles and it's the tastiest So yeah, this one's the best look to milk tea I can't act as if you're not there. I can't just do my work, Ned. Like I feel, I I'm feeling your presence. I'm just trying to take some B-roll. Just give me a sec. Wait, what the fuck? I can't focus. I actually can't focus. Come on, Kay. I know you got ADHD, but. All you have to do is read what it's saying on the computer, write it down. I'm just putting my list of videos that I typed out, my next 21 videos, writing it on the paper. It's very easy. Why can't I? I can't focus. All right, come on. What the fuck? I just wrote the word made, but I accidentally wrote matter. Moving always feels like Christmas because when all your stuff comes, you just realize how much things you forgot about. I forgot about this chain. Like this feels so weird. Like this, I don't wear this. I became such a normal boy. Like when I was living in Japan, you know, I was never into this stuff, but at some point in my time there, I got this. Oh yeah, it was in the e-boy video. But yeah, I would never wear that nowadays. I don't know, like the, the past year, I've been putting a lot of value on personality attractiveness, not like physical attractiveness and all those necklaces and all these cool clothes just being a mask to make your shitty personality cool i was trying to get more real and more authentic so i'm just kind of wearing normal clothes now i got back to japan and you know bought some cool clothes i always remember going shopping with my female friends and they would literally just dress me up like i didn't even i, I don't know I don't, I don't, <laughs> i'm just here but then there's like that one piece that i really really liked and then my whole family is just like a lot of my friends in high school were into high piece clothing and girls love clothes you know oh i gotta get that skirt oh my god Oh my god, oh my god, you see this new blouse? Oh dude, this new blouse, Tiffany was wearing it, it's so nice. Oh my god. But like, even if I were to get fashionable clothing, I just wear that one thing forever, make it like my trademark. I tend to just like wear one thing and stick with it. I guess I like being practical. But now that I think about it, maybe it's just because I'm lazy. But you know what, I'm a YouTuber, you know, I gotta be, I gotta be freshening it up. People have like six second attention spans nowadays. I gotta be, I gotta be always stimulating your brains. So yeah, let me stimulate your brain real quick. Like most of my female quesadillas left because you know, I haven't really been caring about my look. I haven't really been caring about that lately. Even in Japan, I was kind of developing that bro, I don't really care type of personality. So yeah, let me see if I could reestablish the female quesadilla population by doing a little fashion show. But 
but uh yeah so i look for something warm to wear and i found this i haven't worn this in a long time and uh in the pocket inside a paper towel i found these my Invisalign. They gave me like four trays pretty much before I came to Japan. I ended up losing all of them. And yeah, one of them just happened to be here. It kind of hurts right now. Yeah, I don't know if you've noticed, but for like the past two years without my Invisalign, I just took a little rubber band and put it around my two teeth because that was the main thing. I just had a gap right here. And I don't know if you noticed, but I've had that gap recently. I learned that it's actually not too good for your teeth. Just tying it with the rubber band because then it causes more problems like around. But yeah, I stopped using it and voila. Look what happened. Just found these. That's crazy. I can be sexy once again. Like I said before, we pretty much lost all the female quesadillas. And uh, as much as I didn't want quesadillas just for my looks, it's still nice, I guess. And it's extra money. I do want to give a shout out to all the guys though, because y'all, they all are just sticking around. The fact that I went from 80% female, 20% male quesadillas, to now 60% male, 30% female, something like that. Does that not prove guys are more loyal? I don't know. So I appreciate it to the guys. And then I appreciate the girls. But honestly though, attraction is not just physical. It's it's authenticity. And then I lost the authenticity, I think. So I think that's why a lot of female quesadillas left. They just know. They just have a fucking sensor in their head. Just like looking around for authenticity. Looking around for like that real energy. So the girls that stayed, the guys that stayed, I'm glad y'all were able to sense my realness under the mask. Like I got this comment. It's on the my first video in Japanese video. And it says, you're so cute, OMG. Of course, it's a K-pop profile picture. And I haven't got a comment like that in a long time. Like just a comment about my appearance, really. My comments used to be just all about my appearance. Now it's about the video. And I always wanted that. So I guess I got what I wanted. But yeah, so I rewatched this video. I made this like two years ago. And yeah, I have to say, my energy was pretty immaculate. I'm smarter now for sure. I'm more self-aware. But my energy in that? Why didn't I think I was perfect before? That's the question. <laughs> I thought I had so much to improve. But I was I was improving the wrong thing. I, I was focusing on improving the wrong thing. All I had to do was just keep improving. Just keep improving. But like I didn't have to fucking change. And that's what I did. I got caught in the trap. And now I find it hard to be like that i take things way too seriously now it's like i can't just have fun with it it's like it's hard but i am getting back into it so i'm getting better there's no mistakes only lessons so i'm cool this is kind of hurting girl put your records on tell me your favorite song just go ahead, let your head down. Go ahead, let your head down. Sapphire and fitted jeans. I hope you get your dreams. Just go ahead, let your head down. Girl, put your records on. Tell me your favorite song. Just go ahead, let your head down. Go ahead, let your head down. Sapphire and fitted jeans. I hope you get your dreams. Just go ahead, let your head down. Girl, put your records on. Tell me your favorite song. Just go ahead, let your head down. Go ahead, let your head down. Sapphire and faded jeans. I hope you get your dreams. Just go ahead, let your head down. Oh yeah, baby. Yeah, thank you very much. <sighs> so I was going to title this video, My Chill New House in Japan. <laughs> but, 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 but I was, but then I thought that maybe you guys would say, Hey, it's, it's not, your, hey, it's not your house. Your parents bought it. Obviously. Stop trying to flex your parents' house. I was predicting the future. So I decided to switch timelines. Change my title to still living with my parents at 21. I thought it's a more realistic title. So yeah, um, living with my parents at 21. How do I feel about it? Uh, I feel okay. I feel like a lot of my friends are, you know, starting to like, live in their own places and have their own place and live in their own place. But then again, a lot of my friends are in the military, so you got those benefits.
and I guess all my friends are in college, so they live in a dorm or like they're probably like sharing places with their friends so i guess i don't have to feel too bad but i always felt like i was ahead of the pack but but then like last year i started feeling like i was in the middle of the pack and then now i'm feeling like But now I feel like this. I guess it's all relative. I guess I compare myself to very successful people because that was the image that I had of myself. Very successful, but, but yeah, I'm here. It's not too bad though. My dad tells me he moved out when he was 18. Went to college, worked two jobs, I think. You know, he was an independent man. Yeah, I was at 18. I'm three years after that and I'm living with my parents. It's my fault, but it's also the universe's fault. I think this is just how it is right now. Just the way we grow up right now. Like, there's a saying, a hard time to create strong men. Strong men create easy times. Easy times create weak men. Weak men create hard times. So right now, it's the easy time weak men face. I'm one of the weak men. So I guess we're going to create those hard times. Let's go, baby. And we could say, oh, fuck the weak men. Fuck them for making these hard times. But it's, it seems just like the natural flow of life. It's not even the weak man's fault. It's not even our fault. When you give kids full access to an iPhone at three years old, you can't get mad at them when they're addicted at 18. It's just, it's just, it's just, it's just, it's just what the fuck happens. <laughs> but luckily, I'm aware of these things, so I can actually kind of backtrack and improve myself and i like these times because it's just less competition for me now if i get strong i'm special strong guys used to be just soldiers now if you're a strong guy you're a leader but still it's pretty hard to be strong a lot of temptations so many distractions the ladies are looking finer than ever the food is tasting better than ever the drugs are feeling better than ever i'm saying this theoretically by the way don't assume anything from what i just said but i do feel like a small booty though a little behind i was gonna give you guys a tour of the house and the neighborhood but i'm not sure if you guys are even interested in that so let me know in the comments if you want that but if you don't want that i got a lot of other videos coming at you so yeah thank you for watching this video i hope you enjoyed make sure to like and subscribe and click the little ding dong to know when i upload and i like chocolate